Hi, you're listening to Kate Palmer from sparkletart.com. I promised to do some wet media tests in my journals. I have three different ones so that that way you can see how each of them holds up. So I have my Stillman and Burn journal, I have my Fiorentina journal, and I have a Strathmore watercolour journal. So what I'm going to do on each of these is I've just taped off the edges of the pages and I'm going to, on this side, do a media test, things that generally give the paper a bit of a workout. Then on this side, I'm going to flood it with my Starburst stains so it gets really soaked. When they're dry, I'll show you how each journal page has held up. So the first one I'm doing is a golden crackle paste. Now this one is actually recommended for primed rigid substrates. So mostly canvases and things, but let's see how it goes. So what I'm going to do on each of these pages is drag the crackle paste across so you can see how it differs between if you apply it thinly or if you apply it thickly. When it's dry, I'll be able to hold it up and show you how much paper warping there has been and uh, how it looks. The next thing is going to be some clear granular gel medium. Again, this one's quite wet. Both of these products have a long drying time, so if anything was going to warp the paper, this would do it. Now, as promised, on this second page, I'm going to add the wettest product I own, which are the Starbursts from Lindy's Stamp Gang, because they're actually a water-based spray, and I'm going to soak this. So I'm going to start by adding a whole lot of magnolia magenta. Next will be some of the Mountain Lavender Gold. Now a little bit of the Grab a Guy Gold. A bit more Mountain Lavender. I think I need something darker in here. And because I pressed so hard with the little dabber cap from the Magnolia Magenta, I've ended up with little spots, which is not quite what I was after. So I'm going to add a little bit of the Peony Scarlet Red, which is a really strong colour. And a little bit more of the Grab a Guy Gold. Just to make sure this is about as wet as you can get a page while it's still in a book. And a smidge of the Mountain Lavender. Then I'm just going to leave that to dry. See how much the page warps. That's pretty wet considering you've got water just sitting all over it. I'll try two different colours in my other journals, so you can obviously not get bored by the one colour. And um, come back and see what kind of a mess I've made of my pages. I just thought I'd share the results of my wet media test in three different journals. The first one is in my Fiorentina journal. This one has uh, handmade paper, which has a little bit of fabric as well as the paper fibre in there. So the papers are quite unique. So as in the other journals, on this side I've done the Starburst Sprays test where I've completely soaked the paper. On this side, the Starbursts have taken really well. When you flip the page over, there's, I hope you can see that, no warping. It hasn't um, bent out of shape at all. There are no uh, liquid stretch marks. In fact, I'm pleasantly surprised it's still completely flat so that's not quite what I was expecting and um, that's that's a huge positive for me so this one's just shouting mermaid at me I don't know how I'm going to work that in there but uh, let's see how I go isn't that beautiful so we've got the traces of copper let me get up close it has a very jewel like quality so you've got the colors over one another with all with all that different shimmer. It's really very pretty. Now on this other side I tested two of the golden mediums. Down the bottom here was the granular gel and up the top was the crackle paste. So on this particular kind of paper and removing the masking tape because of the type of paper some of it has peeled off. So not only has the gel peeled here but it's peeled off a little bit of the paper with it. Now whilst not terrible, this is um, a result that you may need to know about. 
So handmade papers are obviously a little bit more delicate than the store-bought. Apart from that, the granular gel has dried really nicely. It's gone nice and clear. And when you flip the page, whoops, sorry, different project there. When you flip the page over, the gel has left a little tiny bit of warping and marking on the back. If you can see, yep, just that little patch there, see how it's sort of indented, but nothing horrible. The crackle paste on here has dried and crackled very well. A little bit of it has flaked off in places, but again, I think that's partly because of the nature of this paper. It's incredibly soft, so the crackle paste would need to be incredibly flexible to cope with how flexible this paper is. Now, whilst it's staying on, it would be very easy. See, I can just sort of flick it off there with the fingernail. So the adhesion on this uh, handmade paper is not quite as good as I was expecting. Um, it's dried, it's crackled beautifully. You can see here, I've got a, this is where I applied it more thickly, I've got the thicker crackles, and as I've applied it more thinly down the edges, much finer crackles. Um, but because the crackle paste warps the paper as it dries, there is a significant amount of bubbling on the reverse side. So you can see here that you've actually got the reverse of the crackle on the reverse side of the paper. This is the same test in the Stillman and Burn journal. Again, the colour has taken beautifully and it looks almost sort of organic, um, a bit stone-like. This page, I don't know if you can see, has um, deformed slightly. This is a much thicker paper. I was actually expecting this to remain completely flat and it hasn't, although the warping really isn't that bad. So I imagine that after having that page closed for a little while, that will probably remain in shape. Now, the other thing I wasn't quite expecting, um, now, keeping in mind I did put a lot of colour on here, but some of it has bled through the back in places. So let me give you a close-up here. You can see the gorgeous run marks where I've let it pull and then dry. And again, that gorgeous shimmer from the Lindy's Stamp Gang stains. Or sprays in this case. Beautiful colour. This side, which I was expecting to warp, hasn't. Um, so a bit of a surprise there. Again, whilst removing the tape, it's taken a little bit of the paper and a little bit of the um, granular medium with it, but not half so much as on the handmade paper. In fact, there's just that one tiny little blip there. So I'd, I'd say this was a much more successful test for the granular gel. And when you flip over, you can see there's no warping or patterning of the reverse side whatsoever. So you could safely use that in the journal. The crackle paste, even though I've, I've applied it um, in the same thickness, I don't know if it's got something to do with the paper underneath, um, I've got a much finer crackle. So even though I've applied it much more thickly in the corner here, the crackling remains quite fine. And as you move down to the areas where I have applied it finely on purpose, you can see that it's barely crackled here at all. So on this particular kind of paper, it needs a much thicker layer than uh, on the handmade papers to get the crackle effect. Crackle on here has not left any marks, so I think I can safely say that the crackle medium and the granular medium from Golden are safe to use in the Stillman and Burn journal pages. So on to my last journal, which is the Strathmore Watercolour Journal. Um, please forgive me, I got a little bit messy over here, so I ended up having to colour in some of my... Um, granular medium. Uh, this one was quite similar to my Stillman and Burn journal, although it has not gone through to the reverse side of the page, and this one has also warped a little, but again, nothing that would stop me from using the Lindy's Stamp Gang or any other water-based sprays in here. Now I've applied that very heavily on this page, and somewhat uh, less heavily over here. There's a little bit of ink tense pencil under here as well, just sort of having a bit of a play and seeing how it covered. Although this has settled into some of the texture on the paper uh, or cardstock, although that's not really a bad thing. 
you can see what I mean when you get close up here, all the little spots where it's settled in. But again, a really nice effect. Uh, now, over on this side, I tape removed much more smoothly here, and I didn't have any pulling away from this granular gel medium. I quite like the way that the sprays have covered this. Really pretty and translucent with a little bit of shimmer. The crackle medium on here got similar results to the handmade paper, so I ended up with quite large cracks, which is kind of what you're after in most cases, and much finer crackling or no crackling in some areas. Now, because this is a thicker cardstock, it's not quite as flexible. I don't really have any problem as I try um, getting the cracks to separate and pulling pieces off. So I'd say this is probably more suitable for uh, crackle paste than the handmade paper. Quite uh, happy that there's no real sign of warping on the back of these pages where I've applied the crackle medium or the granular gel. Um, in the corners here, there's a tiny, tiny little dent. I don't know if you can see the shadow of that on camera there. But again, it's it's barely visible and it's nothing that would detract from uh, artwork if you had it on this side of the journal page as well. That certainly wouldn't stop me from using it. The crackle paste, I don't think, made any real impact on the cardstock up here at all. Uh, it's exactly as it was previously. Overall, I've been really impressed with all three journals. I feel safe to recommend using the water-based sprays in any of these three journals. All three performed beautifully. Admittedly, thicker cardstock uh, for pages, a little bit of warping. I think over time, those uh, pages in the heavier cardstock journals will probably flatten out. Um, so I'm quite happy to use my water-based sprays in there. As for the crackle paste and the granular medium, I think the granular medium performs beautifully in all three journals. Perhaps I wouldn't use it with the tape next time so that there weren't any of those little tears. But apart from that, I thought it was absolutely fantastic in all three. Um, the crackle paste, obviously, if you're going to be bending the pages of the handmade papers, not such a great idea. Um, you absolutely could use it if you're painting over the top. Maybe acrylic paint would uh, make it a bit stronger. Again, fine in the other two heavier card based journal pages, so the Strathmore and the Stillman and Burn. Honestly though, um, the little bit of patterning on the back of the pages and the little bit of warping, none of that was unsurmountable. I'd probably go ahead and do any of these three things in all of my journals again. So I would absolutely go ahead and use any of these three journals and go for it, put your wet mediums in there, as long as you're okay with a few slight imperfections. So I hope that's given you a bit of uh, assistance there if you're trying to decide which journal's best for you or what will work in them. And I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.